Today we are making a World War III scenario. So basically, it's basically the new conflict that's heating up now. So basically, we're going to start with Russia. So since they have a lot of troops, they could go, they start going into Ukraine slowly. So they then they keep just, they start going. But since we only send 150k, it's not, it's going to be a little tough. So they send you more soldiers. And then Ukraine starts falling apart as the Belarus is now in the war. They plan to connect their borders, so they plan to do this. So then they use a plan. Since Ukraine is kind of in a pickle, they <coughs> they they don't see much point in really fighting, but. They still weaken Russia and Belarus, so they keep fighting. So now, Russia is just devouring Ukraine. And the United States is now sending soldiers over. So, basically the war has already started. So now... Finland will make a little push. Just a little push into Russia. Taking St. Petersburg or whatever it's called. And they start going a little further as the Russian military is starting to get over there. So then it's they kind of get into a checkmate. Sounds like that. So now for Serbia, Romania, and a lot of other powers will be in war with us. Since Serbia is basically a very weak country, well not too weak, but since all the neighbors are stronger around them, they pretty much just give up. And sorry for the bad quality on this. So basically, the borders would kind of be like this. Hungary taking the top. Bulgaria taking this little part. Romania taking this. And Serbia now being put into a puppet state. So they hit a checkmate. So now it's now an allied puppet. <coughs> and, <coughs> and I don't know, but I'm coughing a little bit. So Belarus and Russia just decide to unite. And to boost in the strength. So now Ukraine has basically fallen. They have lots of troops in Kaliningrad. So they start rushing over to Kaliningrad. So they don't take it. Getting Poland. Poland is weak but they also want to weaken their opponent. So Moldova, so Russia's a pretty big deal in Europe. American troops are landing right on the borders of over here. And they start fighting back a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> and 
they so they plan to start editing them off. Slowly but surely, they managed to do it. Then they start surrounding the Russian forces and damaging them. So since China and their allies are activated in this, now Russia will be a lot stronger. So for revenge, Russia will now rush into the Baltic states. They circle them and start taking them apart from there. Ukraine is no threat to them anymore, so they just rush on the sides and start invading them as fast as they can before new troops arrive. They w they have troops over here, so they just take Moldova. They go over here. And Ukraine is now split in two. So as you can see, get that part. So Ukraine doesn't really see a point in fighting, so they surrender. Making the fall of Ukraine. And you think the war would be over? And for... Unfortunately not, because there's still a lot of countries that are very, that are very mad about this. So they really just, so Russia really starts to have to invade. So all their allies bundle up their troops and start going over to Europe to attack. But Russia has secretly been getting troops around this area. Going around here, then right in Portugal, without their notice yet. So on April 14th of 2022, it happens. Portugal is now being invaded. Spain, everyone has to rush their troops down before Spain falls. So they, s they start using the German way of invading. So Spain's basically just being cut off piece by piece. There's not too much of a point in fighting, but they need to be weakened. So now that they're weakened, Spain falls to Russian hands. They sent a million of the troops in. Spain was completely overwhelmed. So if anyone gets confused with that. So then Poland just starts getting cut off. They have a plan. So they have to go through France. Just like this. Just then that. So they said that their idea could work. And the good news is it does work. They have to go under Germany to the weaker countries. Go through Austria. Go through Switzerland. They attack Switzerland. This because people flee Two different countries. So now Europe is basically just cut in two. So the first target will be the, the part over here. So now America is right here. So now... They get the edges of Spain and Portugal, getting tens, of, like around two to three million soldiers, and get Spain free. So there, and 
they're being pushed by. But this is not over yet. As now they have to rush into the countries as quick as they can. So they take two countries for easy. With it being easy. So then it gets to Lockia easily. Czechia. Hungary. <coughs> They're a little too powerful for Europe. But they still control these islands. Which gives them an idea. They should invade. They should start invading the islands over here. So then they slowly take over Malta and parts of Italy and start going up. Because they're recruiting way more soldiers than they had. It's so you see there's no point fighting and also strangers. They take Austria with Chinese and ally help. All the American allies team up and start attacking. In Finland, checkmate is <coughs> stalemate is over. Italy is now f going back to Allied rule, being freed. So then, we do this. And then, so they basically fight. So now for their army. They go through increasingly fast. Serbia now being an allied. <coughs> now has enough. So now they have enough. So now they rush in Russia. There was no third, even though in it they united. Finland is able to fight back with no Russian troops on the borders anymore. <coughs> and now, Russia has to surrender. <coughs> so Finland takes this huge amount of territory. The Lotus is now a puppet of the Allies. Ukraine gets some huge borders. So now Ukraine is a better country. And leads us to the Baltic states. So they will take these parts. So boom, bam, and that's. Uh, I'm joking. Latvia will get some land too. Finland. So now Russia's military will be reduced to only five hundred thousand soldiers. And now. They cannot go to war with anyone else. So this is Yen. I hope you guys liked it. And yeah, that's pretty much all.